Hey budgies and widgies and welcome back to the channel. Gotta say, this new camera is looking very nice. It's so crisp. I don't know what that was, but um, I'm not lying. This camera is really, really good. So I'm just like shooting back and forth to the, the little display screen, but gotta stay focused on the camera. Well, today we are doing a care video on a specific fish, specific, specific fish that I've had for quite a fair bit. Now, the only reason I haven't been cranking out more care guides is because I don't really want to do one just for the sake of doing it. I really want to make sure that I know the ins and outs of this fish before um, I guess I reveal that knowledge onto you. So, um, you would have seen on the channel I've only done one care video, that was on the Roseline Shark. And that is my most viewed video, it's on like 1,200 views I believe. So, yeah, you guys knock that out of the ballpark. So, hopefully this one does just as good, but even if it doesn't, it's, um, I guess, really good information that I have slowly been collating by observing these fish in my aquarium. So, before I get onto rambling and talking about unnecessary stuff, let's look at the care guide, and then I will join you once we finish. By far, one of the most beautiful rainbow species is the neon rainbow. A highly coveted tropical species, this fish truly deserves a spotlight and if anything is the spotlight of any aquarium. Found in the winding waterways of Papua New Guinea, this fish has now become internationally popular. This fish does suffer from the multiple name syndrome which is a common occurrence in the aquarium industry but expect to hear this fish being called the neon rainbow Dwarf Neon Rainbow and Praycox Rainbow. As you can see in my aquarium, I have a pack of six neon rainbows and I picked up these stunners from livefish.com.au and within the past four months of me owning these guys, they have skyrocketed to become my favorite rainbow species of all time. Having kept over 200 aquarium fish over the past 10 years, the fact that I've placed these guys as my favorite rainbow species really shows how much I love these fish. But now that we've had a little brief introduction, let's look a lot more in depth about their care. Now, if you want a fish that quickly becomes a centipede schooling fish for your aquarium, then the neon rainbow is the fish for you. When you originally purchase neon rainbows, they will look like a small grey diamond with the slightest hint of blue. The silver colour and somewhat red fins can really throw a lot of people off. But let me tell you that this fish changes so drastically into an absolute gem. As they age, both the males and females will lose that kind of silver colour and really develop this deep blue which will shimmer immensely under your light. Their fins will start to develop a deep red if it's a male and a vibrant orange if it's a female. Their growth is amazingly fast and they reach their adult size and color in roughly around a year. In my case, they reached adult colors in four months, so they do grow really fast. In terms of size, they roughly reach around about eight to 10 centimeters with some males possibly putting on a little more size. Being a naturally active species, I wouldn't recommend keeping these guys in anything under a three foot long aquarium, with definitely a two foot minimum width. Having this ensures that they have ample swimming space and gives them some getaway room if the males get into a slight bicker. Having that length, I find, allows you to admire their schooling behavior. Neon rainbows, in my experience, are not very skittish, and I find will do great with around 1.5 foot height in the aquarium, as they are a mid-water swimming fish, however, will appreciate any extra height. To further bring out their schooling behavior, make sure there is relatively high flow, as they will dearly appreciate this, but then give it a bit of a quiet spot to rest and chill out a little bit. In terms of temperature, the neon rainbow is a tropical species, so you really want to make sure their water is nice and toasty. I keep my temperature at around 26 to 28 degrees Celsius, and this allows them to be nice and active, put on great size, and have a naturally high immune system. 
Neon rainbows will also appreciate being in a planted aquarium, as they contrast beautifully, and I find this is an ideal habitat for them and really accentuates their behaviour. Being a schooling fish, definitely make sure that if you purchase these guys, they are in a school. I would recommend starting off with six, however anything more they will absolutely be fine with. Neon rainbows are a perfect fish to feed. They accept a wide variety of foods, ranging from pallets, flakes, frozen foods, and freeze-dried foods. I routinely feed them a mix of different pallets and flake foods, manufactured by extreme aquatic foods, tropical, and frenzy fish foods, with an added mix of nutritious blood worms, kind of as a treat every weekend. When choosing foods for them, Take into consideration that they are a mid to top dwelling fish and really prefer foods that can kind of float or be dispersed throughout the water column. And neon rainbows are a natural insectivore, so they will appreciate a protein rich diet. Now that we've seen everything you need to know in terms of care, how and where do you go about buying these beautiful fish? When you go to an aquarium store that has some neon rainbows in stock, there are a few things you should take into consideration. If you're looking to eventually breed these fish in the future, then you can go about getting a mixed ratio of both males and females. However, if you want to keep a display tank, then I would 100% say get males only. The only reason I say this is because when you keep males, there's an amazing display of color, larger size, and this unique sparring display behavior that you can notice where other males will display fins to each other in order for dominance. However, this act is completely harmless and no kind of damaging fighting occurs. It's also very easy to tell the difference between male and female neon rainbows as stated before, males will have a red tail and females will be kind of like an orangey yellow. If your local aquarium store does not have them in stock, then I would 100% consider getting them from livefish.com.au. I found that the quality is amazing, the fish are healthy and they settle in beautifully, as you can see with mine and how great they're doing. I'm back. So, hopefully you guys really enjoyed that. Uh, yes, I did say I have a school of six, but once I finished doing the video and then I looked at my fish tank, I was like, wait a minute, I have eight, so where did the other two come from? But I guess I just haven't noticed. <laughs> they're they're Praycox, Neon, Dwarf, Neon, Dwarf, Rainbows. <laughs> they're doing really good. Um, I... Have you always noticed that whenever I like start talking about my fish, I don't look at the camera and turn back and start looking at the fish? It's kind of like natural. Whenever I get to look at them, I will. But yeah, they <laughs> did it again. <laughs> they are doing super well. And um, yeah, they still have a little bit of growing to do. Uh, they've kind of reached their adult colors, but I think maybe in another two to three months time, they'll really put on that size and um, really mature with their colors. So yeah, when I was looking over that footage, there were some times where they kind of looked a little bit gray, but that will disappear over time. And if you've got a good, nice bright light, like the Fluval 3.0 in my aquarium, it will really make them shimmer and they just, they look so good. And yeah, like, like I said, I've got all males and this is in the afternoon. They kind of start chilling down a little bit, but early in the morning when the lights turn on, the males all start like flaring and you know, it's like a fight. They're like, okay, who's going to be the top of the, what on earth was that? <laughs> they, they, you know what they do. They try and get on the top and work out their little ranking system again. But yeah, completely harmless stuff. Yeah, they are a great fish. So I really hope you enjoyed today's care video. I do have a few more planned in mind because there are some species that I've kind of gotten a grasp around and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video, you wanna see more like it, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel below. Give this video a big thumbs up. I got confused there for a second. Yeah, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below about what your thoughts are on this fish. Would you keep them in your aquarium? If you do already have them, please do let me know. I love listening to you guys and hearing what um, you know, what you have in your tanks and stuff like that. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. As usual, stay happy, stay safe, 
Stay Aussie Australian. Bodgy out. That's some good lighting. I like this lighting, look at that. You know, kind of like bright on one side, a little bit dark on the other, blurry background. You can just see the colors of the fish. Good um, top lighting. I like this. This is, I gotta, I gotta like take a photo of this rig and make sure I follow this because yes. Um, <laughs> because yes, how we look in face. Yes, good. Raised up hair. Yep, that's all right. Eyebrows, yep. Newly growing beard, all brushed down. Yes, we're looking good. Okay, let's begin. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the... I'm not doing my intro, okay? All right, so the fish we're gonna have a look at today is the dwarf neon, neon rainbow, dwarf neon rainbow, praycox rainbow. I actually hate the multiple name syndrome. So many fish go through it. Look at the um, roseline shark, for example. Roseline shark, torpedo barb, uh, redline barb, Denisonite barb, just pick a name, please. Rosa line, because it's a red line, rosy. <sighs> this is what my worries are. The world is going through so much right now, and my worries are fish giving, given multiple names. What have I become? And what are you doing still here? Go, leave, you don't want to be witnessing this, go.